What's up Trophy Hunter, welcome to my Platinum walkthrough for Seduction Amongst Fate. The game is a 2D side-scrolling action classic adventure game. Currently there are 4 stacks, but it's possible that they will add more stacks later. So select the game and select normal mode. There are a few missables and a total of 5 collectibles. There is no real combat in the game, but there are still some enemies. You can't fight, but you can dodge attacks. But most of the time you just have to solve a lot of puzzles. You can skip through the dialogue by pressing the cross button. You can move your character with the left stick, you can interact with the cross button and you can open your item menu by pressing the triangle button. This walkthrough is with commentary so it should be very easy to follow. So once you gain control of a character, go right through the door. Now simply just keep going left. You need to go through some dialogue as well, but you can skip it with the cross button. Now keep going left and after some more dialogue the game really starts. So once you gain control of a character, go to the right. Talk with the man, skip through the text by pressing the cross button and then keep going to the right. Now stop here and hold down the circle button to unlock another trophy. So now keep going to the right. Now keep going right. Now stop here, you need to match up the black shape at the tree with the background shape to reveal the shovel. Now press and hold down the circle button. Now go right, pick up the shovel and then go left to the previous area. Now go left and use the shovel on the wooden plank. To use the item you need to press the L1 button. Now pick up the pulley and then go right to the next area. 
Now go right and pass the well. Now it's possible that you will encounter the first enemy, simply dodge it by pressing the R1 button. This one is a bit random so it's possible that you will encounter the enemy in another spot. So now go through this door here. Now go right and go up the stairs. Now go left and pick up the long stick. This will trigger a minigame. It's pretty simple, just press the correct direction once the symbols match up. Now go to the right down the stairs. Keep going right. Now interact with this wooden cart to get an apple. Now keep going to the right. Now enter the water and use the circle button to pray. Turn all the girls into skeletons. Also keep an eye on the small scorpion in front of you. This is the first collectible. So once the water turns red, go to the right and pick up the bucket. Now run all the way to the left. So now run to the right. Now use the apple on the snake. Now go towards to the snake and use the circle button to turn the snake into a rope. Pick up the rope and run all the way left back to the well. Now use all three items on the well, the bucket, the rope and the pulley. Now interact with the well to climb down. Be careful there's an enemy. Only move when the enemy is eating from the ground. He always do it three times, but I recommend always stop after his second move. You need to go all the way to the right to find the key. Now go back and climb up the rope. Now keep going all the way to the left until you reach a closet. Now use the key on the closet to get some beads. 
From now on go all the way to the right until you reach a raft. Now interact with the raft and select sail. Now just keep going right until you reach the next chapter. Now go right and stop at the first chair. Now press the circle button to pray and pick up the salt. Now go left until you reach a flying chair. Be careful because these are basically enemies. You need to go very close and then press the circle button to pray. Wait a bit till the enemy disappear. Now keep going to the left. Now talk with the man and after that press and hold down the circle button to pray. Keep praying until he disappears. Now go left and stand under the TV and press circle to pray. After that the TV should be turned on. Now keep going to the right. Just keep going right. Now talk with the woman. Now go left stand under the TV and press the circle button. After that the TV should be turned on. Now go to the right but be careful there is another enemy. Don't go too close to the knife. Go slowly right and stop when the knife starts swinging. Then press the circle button to start praying to kill the enemy. Now go to the right, stop here, press the circle button and pick up the salt. Now keep going to the right but be careful there is an invincible abyss. Talk with the woman and after that press the circle button to see the edge. Go close to the edge and press and hold down the circle button to save the woman.
Now go all the way back where we started the lever. There should be now a new door you can go through. Go left and through the door right here. Now go left, interact with the fire and use both cells. Now interact with the thing in front of you. The next section of the game is pretty straightforward, you have to run away from the big spider. Just keep running to the right, sometimes you need to dodge some spiders by pressing the R1 button and at the end there is another mini game. No worries, it's super easy and straightforward. So once you made it, keep going to the right. Pay attention on the next tree, because there is collectible number 2. Pick up the scorpion and then go to the right. Now keep going to the right and eventually you will reach a woman. Go through the dialogue and pick up the music box. So now keep going to the right. Go to the right and after the save point enter the first door. Now keep going to the right. Go close to the wall, press and hold down the circle button. Now simply go through the door. Now go to the right and through the first door. Go right through the double doors, you will encounter a new type of enemy. You can't really kill him, but he will disappear after some time. Keep some distance and keep going to the left. After a few seconds he will disappear. Once he disappears pick up collectible number 3. Now go left through the door. Now go left through the second double doors.
Now go left until you can see a white eye. Stop right here and press the circle button. We need to find a total of 4 eyes to open another door. Now go left through the double doors. Now keep going to the right. Now go through the door. Now go left and interact with the strange thing. You can move it around. Move it to the right and go through the door with it. Now move it to the left. After a while you should see some white outlines on the wall. Move the strange thing into the center of the two white outlines to get A number 2. Now keep going to the right. Be careful there will be another enemy. Now go to the right. Now go all the way to the left through the double doors. Go left and interact with the four puzzle pieces. Now click on the first one two times. Now select the fourth one and click on it three times. Now leave the room through the double doors. Now keep going to the right. Be careful there will be another minigame. Now go to the right through the doors. Now go to the left through the double doors. Now interact with the candles. To solve the puzzle you need to light up the corked candles. Once done correctly you will end up with the last A. Now go left through the double doors. And now go all the way to the right. Interact with the big cross on the wall. And now use the statue I. Now go to the right. Watch out there will be another minigame. Once done go to the right and through the door. Go to the right, be careful there will be another enemy. Now pick up the snake statue in front of you. Go to the right. Now through the door. 
Now go all the way to the right and pick up the key from the wall. Once done, go through the door in front of you. Go left towards to the flower. Now go right and through the door. Go left through the double doors. Go all the way to the left and open the door with the key. Be careful there will be another enemy. Once the enemy disappears, interact with the wooden box. Now leave the room. Go right through the second double doors. Go right through the doors. Now go all the way to the left to leave the building. Keep going to the left. Now go all the way to the right. Now move close to the hands and use the firecrackers. Now keep going to the right. The next part of the game is a bit annoying. It's an underwater level and if you play video games now for a longer time, you know underwater levels always suck. You have limited air, so be careful. Once you gain control of a character, swim to the right. Be careful there are some enemies called mermaids and it's only possible to dodge their attacks. You need to dodge at least one attack for a trophy. To get through this section, just keep swimming to the right.
So guys, the next section is a bit more tricky. We need to interact with two switches and we need to get one collectible. At the beginning, keep swimming all the way to the right. Now swim down. Now swim into the hole to your right to get some air. Now leave the cave and swim down to find the first switch. This is the first switch, interact with it. Now just in case, swim back to the cave to get some new air. Now leave the cave and swim to the left. Eventually you will reach the second switch, interact with it. Now swim down and to your left you can find another cave, where you can get some new air. Now leave the cave and swim all the way down to find another collectible. So now pick up the scorpion and then swim right and slightly up to find a new entrance. Now go all the way to the right and interact with the door. To open the door you need to enter the correct symbols. Once done, go through the door and now go to the right. Now pick up the second statue in front of you. Now keep going to the right to trigger another minigame. Complete the minigame to leave the cave. Keep going to the right and after some dialogue you will end up back in the forest. Now go to the left until you reach the gate. Use both statues to open the gate. Thank you. 
On the left pillar you can find the last collectible. Pick up the scorpion and then move all the way to the right till you reach a gate. Interact with the gate. Be careful there are some demons which will throw some fire at you. Now go left and interact with the third pillar. Interact with the pillar and complete the minigame. After that do the same with the second pillar to your right. Now go through the gate and keep running to the right. Open your inventory and use the music box. Now run all the way to the right through the portal. Be careful there will be some fire demons. So guys the rest of the game is pretty straightforward, you just have to go through some dialogue, some cutscenes and another two minigames. It's pretty straightforward, nothing missable, no puzzles or something, it's just some dialogue and two minigames. So guys I hope you found this walkthrough useful, thanks for the attention, see you in my next one.